So one tiny tidbit I forgot to mention is actually setting up a mask for your player object. Um, I've quickly gone ahead and set the mask to be the same sprite as the enemy. Um, as you remember, it's just a 32 by 32 block because I deleted the old green block that we were using for our player. But this is exactly the same size and shape collision wise, so I figured I can just use that. Uh, what a mask does is it's going to act as a... well, it told me right there in the tooltip actually. Uh, this image is used as collision mask for the object. So it's going to use that sprite for all collisions instead of whatever sprite the object is set to. Now the reason we would want that to happen and want that to happen consistently is because as you'll notice these uh, animation sprites are different widths and different sizes and you might have seen uh, when we were running the game earlier that when we were underneath the wall sometimes we'd kind of stick into it a little bit or we would go in further than we would before. But if you have a mask set up properly so it's consistent you'll notice that you always have the same consistent collision with the wall and you're not going to like look to stick into it or anything because um, that could cause a various number of problems. Um, just yeah, just a little tidbit on the end there. Uh, thanks guys.